All right, so I literally just got back from seeing the Super Mario Brothers movie in theaters, and what can I say? It's good for what it is. Um, if you are looking for a very good nostalgia trip, because most of us who are watching this movie probably grew up with the sit franchise when we were kids in the 90s and the 80s even, a lot of us probably have kids that are now discovering this universe itself. So it is a good nostalgia trip, and it is a competent movie about the Mario universe, I should say. If you're expecting it to be a deep film like The Next Citizen Kane, or a, get a big character-driven movie with a big twist, and there's none of that there, all right? But if you enjoy it for what it is, you'll have a good time watching it like I did, all right? But if you're expecting it to be an amazing, plot-driven movie, then just, you know, go buy another movie. All right, now this Re Burgers and Fries episode was actually recorded before I went and saw it, but through the magic of editing, we're going to take you right now to the Burgers and Fries edition talking about video game movies. All right, gentlemen, so the Super Mario Brothers movie just came out. It seems to me that after 30 years, I mean, it's hard to believe that the very first video game movie that we got was 1993, and now it's 2023, and now video game movies are actually getting a respect. Let's start off with the 2023 Super Mario Brothers movie. The reason why is because Greg here actually saw it. Greg, tell me what you thought about this movie. Honestly, it was actually really good. And well, when I went to uh, saw it on Saturday night, I dressed up as Mario. Oh, that's cool. Like nice. were a lot of other people dressed up that way. Yep. And while well, people were taking my pictures as well. <laughs> That's cool. You probably would have been concerned, oh, God, it's a, is it going to be a Seth Rogen comedy in a Mario movie? Like, was it anything like that? Nope. They just did their voices, and it was done well, right? And, well, I did kind of heard that <clears throat> uh, Nintendo kind of stepped in a bit to uh, make sure they uh, don't change uh, Princess Peach. I heard <clears throat> that Princess Peach is not really the damsel in distress this time. It's Luigi. So Luigi is? Did they, yeah. So did they make... Um, uh, Princess Peach or Princess Toadstool, as she was in our day, it, did they make her a Mary Sue? Nope. Good. Is she they voiced by the same actress who voices her in the video games? I don't. Nope. Uh, nope. Neither is Mario. Mario, I believe, was voiced by Chris Pratt. So it's not the it's not the old you know it's a me. I wish that was the case. <laughs> no, well, you don't. Wouldn't that be <laughs> annoying after an hour and a half? Well, it would actually be nice to hear Mario and Luigi make sense when they talk and not talk in third person all the time, and they, like I do in the games. Okay, so Greg, your thoughts on that? Like, your thoughts on the voice acting, who did what? Like, you saw it, so you can give us a first-hand account. Well, I'll be honest. I Well, when I first heard that Chris Pratt was, was uh, going to voice Mario, I was skeptical about it at first, but then I learned that he was going to do a Brooklyn accent, which... It's not the first time Mario Mario had one. I was going to say this, that uh, the original guy that, that did the voice for Mario, he also played uh, Mario's dad. Really? Oh, that's funny. That's great. Mario's dad. That's like having, uh, in the Inspector Gadget movie, uh, Brain was voiced by Don Adams, mm -hmm. who voiced yeah, who the voices. original Inspector Gadget. Brain is not here. Right. So that's cool. That's a good, that's a good callback. So it well, sounds like this movie had a lot of fan service. It just it made it look it look like the definitive Super Mario Brothers movie. And well, I was gonna say that uh, Chris really hated it because they just seem like they just hate everything, well except for cuties, and the Last Jedi. Uh -huh. Yeah. So yeah, I don't understand what the critics were expecting. It is a video game based movie. Like we've all played Mario games, gentlemen. Is Mario supposed to have a thick plot? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Is it supposed yeah. to be the three-hour Titanic? No. I was going to say that uh, just seems like, well, the only thing about the Mario games is just going on an adventure and all that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Saving and the, prin saving the movie, princess. And that's what that movie felt like it was doing, right? Yep. And that's all it needed to do. So after 30 years, <clears throat> we finally get a good Super Mario Brothers movie. But now we got to travel back in time 30 years to 1993. All right, gentlemen... Do you remember when it was announced that there would be a Super Mario movie? Yes, I do. Honestly, okay. I think I was three years old during that time. Okay, so you were a little too young to remember it, remember any commercials or trailers. <clears throat> yeah. I would have been five when, that, when the mo actual movie came out. 
I didn't really get this. Right. I didn't actually see the movie until I was 13 when it was on Disney Channel's Magical World of Disney Movie Night and stuff. And my brother told me Super Mario Bros. movie's on. And my dad's like, is that you, you've seen it? Yeah, it was pretty bad. It wasn't even in the theaters out that long, my dad said. Um, I saw it as a kid. Like, every, every time it came on TV, I don't remember hating it. I remember thinking, oh, this is this is funny. This is cool. Well, we were kids. Um, we didn't know any better. Exactly. We were kids. But, again, it had Dennis Hopper as the bad guy. It had... And uh, we brought up the, uh, the guy that played Luigi in that movie. I kind of heard he was just kind of, well, bitching and moaning about, him, about not playing uh, Luigi in the a new one. Well, he it would have been fun, but then and then I heard that John Leguizamo bitched about it not being diverse enough. I'm like, what the? F- what it's do you mean? It's a movie diverse? about two car. It's a movie about two cartoonish Italian plumbers in a fantasy world in the Mushroom Kingdom. What more <clears throat> diverse do you want it to be? I am wondering though, why did they think? Why did they think it was okay to cast Mario as a as, as by have have Mario played by an English actor and Luigi played by a, by a Colombian actor? Who <laughs> because they look like they could play the parts. Oh, well, who played Daisy? Do you remember who played Daisy? Samantha Mathis. <clears throat> oh, I was wondering because Daisy, I like Daisy better than Peach. That's why I was asking. I agree. And then it actually was more. It was cool about that was it was it was Luigi's love interest. It wasn't Mario's love interest. Yeah, Luigi was and more the course, main character. So that's hey, and me being my because I was always a Luigi fan because I was always second player when me and my sister played. So I, she always Mario, I was always Luigi. So me, I'm hey, I like green. I like Bingo, I like, I like the, Luigi more. I, well, I like the Luigi better because I just I mean I liked him in Luigi's Mansion. It's one of my favorite Mario games of all time. Heaven sued me, so sue me now. And I'm just, not gonna I, I, sue you. I'm kidding. But we're not gonna it, talk too much about video games. We're I'm talking ta- about I'm, movies. I'm, ta- I'm talking about based Luigi. On the video. I'm talking about Luigi. That's the right, uh, folks. I also have a list of pretty much all the video game movies in front of me. Right, and we're gonna talk. Just like we did with the MCU, we're going to talk about the ones that stand out. We're not going to say every single one. So if there's something that we miss, just say it in the comment section. All right. And all right. So we're on the Super Mario Brothers movie. Yes. In retrospect, it is kind of a bad movie. But what one thing I like was angry video game nerd said, you know, he liked that it was different. He liked that it he didn't want to be like the video game. He wanted it to be completely different than the actual video game universe. And I think that's what you know. Movies in the '90s were trying to do. I was going to mention this. I did get heard they're going to plan to make a Luigi's Mansion movie. Well, that would be interesting. There you go. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. So the next one is Double Dragon. All right, and that one I remember just seeing on TV once as a kid, and you know, oh, cool, Double Dragon. But did you see the I've TV series? The, no, not the TV series. The actual movie. But you have, but you heard of the TV series, haven't you? Never heard of the TV series, but, but we're talking about the movie. I uh, was it a cartoon by chance? Yes, the TV show was I a think cartoon. There was, yeah. Okay, so yeah, and there was a Street Fighter cartoon. There was a Mortal Kombat cartoon, which was kind of funny because my mom at the time said no Mortal Kombat because they there's blood and they rip your spines out and all that shit. <laughs> but then there's a kids cartoon about it. It's like. <laughs> What the fuck, mom? And uh, then, of course, there's movies about Mortal Kombat, which we're also, which we're going to go to then. Yes, I can't wait. So to before talk about we those. go to, before we go to the first Mortal Kombat, there was the Street Fighter movie. This one I remember watching all the time on VHS when we had it on rental. Like I kept it on almost on a loop. Like I loved it. Uh, and yes, and now it's basically a Jean Claude Van Damme movie, but it's Raul Julia, Zam Bison, Rest His Soul, Kylie Minogue. You got. That's right, Kylie Minogue. Uh, Kylie Minogue. Oh, I, oh, that was an awesome idea to have my one of my favorite Australian singers play that Cammy. I mean, that was awesome. Right How there. many Australian singers do you follow? Okay, do you always have to list their nationality? I do list. I do follow a lot of them. Yes. Okay, then fair enough. All right, I stand corrected. <laughs> Who's your favorite Australian uh, female wrestler? I don't have one. Mine is Rhea Ripley. Your thoughts on the very first Street Fighter movie? I mean, we can't, we cannot ignore the whole scene where you ha- where you have Zanga go, quick, change the channel. My fans? That was I, one of the funniest parts of the movie. I'll tell you, tell you the truth, Anthony. I was never really big into Street Fighter that, that much, so the movie didn't really change my mind. The only reason I kind of wanted to watch was because Kylie Minogue was in it, so... It, this well, is that's gonna, a good enough reason. It's not, and, yeah, I know. That's, I, I'm just saying there. <laughs> And then, of course, it's also funny to the fact that Jan- Van Damme admitted years later that he had an affair with Kylie Minogue on set. Oh, my God. 
age. <laughs> He basically is like, well, she was right there, and she was young and beautiful, and I was there. So, yeah, they were Wait. totally fucking on each other on set. Interesting. Uh, I never saw the Street Fighter movie. That's okay. We don't have to talk too much about it more than we have to. But I know Tony wants to talk about the, the 90s Mortal Kombat movies, right? Right, yes, because I've seen them both. And um... Okay. And uh, I will, and like, I didn't see them in theaters because, you know, I was, because like, you know, I didn't know anything about Mortal Kombat. I, I first saw them when I got them, I got them on DVD, then Blu-ray. And I watched them, and you know, the first one was so bad, it was funny, in a good way, and stuff like that. But, but the second one was just so bad, it was bad, especially because he got new actors for most of the actors, except for like, um, Robin Chu, and I forget the actors who played Katana and stuff, so... Yeah, it was, you're right. It totally sets up for a sequel. I didn't hate the first Mortal Kombat movie. I thought it was a competent movie, I should say, based on the material that they were given, because it's all supposed to be based on that first game. Yeah, and then Annihilation was just served as to insert characters from two and three, you know, and have their have their cameos in there. But yeah, I think the, the nostalgic critic in his review of Annihilation did the perfect joke about it. It's like, well, hey, wait a minute, that's not Sonya. Hey, Johnny Cage, what is this? Wait, you're not Johnny Cage. Raiden, what is this? Wait, you're, uh, not yeah, Raiden. Raiden. you're not Johnny. Oh, so you're not. that was great. Yeah, I'm, my, my, I remember, remember my favorite part about his about his review was he's talking about those little transport circular things. Oh, the but, fuck ball. Yeah, the fuck ball. <laughs> that was uh, funny. I do have to but wonder. Yeah, I, 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 have to, I do have to I, wonder. I wonder how the actors felt in the film beating those things, thrusting forward to each other and stuff. Well, maybe in the case of Jean-Claude Van Damme and Minot, they probably felt pretty good. Well, yeah, but they, yeah, but they, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but um. Well, were they rated R during the time? No, they were rated no, PG-13. They were rated PG-13. There was no blood That's in the writing. Right. Like I, I, oh. remember, I like and Christoph Lemery said, "You have been chosen to complete the tournament called Mortal Kombat." Do you think it would have benefited from being a rated R movie? Probably Pro- not. I don't know. I mean, like it was the '90s. People, we, 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 we didn't care at the time. Well, well, no, I mean, it, this was the 80s and 90s you, where you have RoboCop and there's video games and toys based off RoboCop. So it's not like kids weren't watching rated R violent movies in those days. Same with Terminator. I mean, both films did have some interesting parts. Like, I like the part where Sonya and Melina are, rest, are fighting around in the mud. That was, that was pretty, pretty cool. Of course you love the Yeah, you love when the two of them are mud wrestling. I'm like, how can we not enjoy that part? But one thing and then we didn't... wonder, And then we wonder where we get our fetishes from in adulthood. Yeah, but um, mm-hmm. the original actor for, actress for Sonya in the first one was better. But yeah, of course good. she was hot. She's the chick from Billy Madison, and she was also at Last Action Hero with Arnold. The like, act- she she is definitely a, <laughs> a fantasy dream. Because but now we got to go into Laura Croft Tomb Raider again. Guys, what was the biggest appeal about Tomb Raider? It wasn't necessarily it was Laura Croft. It was her tits. Yes, we all know that. In fact, like, um, <laughs> I bet, like, um, I remember, here's the thing about, about the first Tomb Raider movie. I first heard about it. In 1998, in summer 1998, when my dad, was, my dad was a big Tomb Raider fan, he was saying they're making Tomb Raider 3 and this big book of full of Tomb Raider stuff, and he said that, like they're gonna make a Tomb Raider movie and they had like a little contest which which girl sh- sh- should be in be Lara Croft and I was actually voting one of one of the nominees was was the girl who played Rose in Titanic. I actually was voting for her. You guys thought she'd be a perfect Lara Croft for some odd reason. I thought Angelina Jolie probably looked more like Laura Croft than Kate Winslet would have looked. Well, not only that, she sounded like like Laura Croft as well. Angelina Jolie, She's like I don't know, if you, I know you never played it, but in in Two Mayor Two and Three, that the actress almost sounded like Angelina Jolie, even though it was. Well, they probably market both well, because I don't know if the first movie came after the first game or whatever, but they probably it came after the third. After- it, it came after the fifth game, actually. Okay, then see that's where I rely on you for that information. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I mean, for what it was, it was just a nice, fun, you know, adventure movie. I remember Dad and I seeing it in the theaters, and pretty much, you know, everybody all just remembers is Angelina Jolie and her two twins. Yeah, in in, in interesting. I'm gonna give you an interesting I, thing. I remember Daniel there. Craig was in it. I remember John Voight was in it. Like it was, it was an okay movie. Now let's okay. So there isn't much else to talk about the second Tomb Raider movie, is there? I never saw uh, it. Okay, but then we can go into the Resident Evil series because that's where the first Resident Evil movie comes out in 02. I remember watching all of them with my ex, never hating them, thought they were fun. All right. Um, You told me, Tony, that you preferred the second one because of who? 
Jill Valentine was in it. She's my favorite character in the franchise. I mean, I mean, I thought Alice, when I first saw the first movie, I thought Alice was Jill. They never mentioned Alice's name. That was weird. Well, uh, maybe because we already assu- they probably already assumed we knew who Alice was. No, Alice was never in any of the video games. Okay, fine. So you made a character for the movies. Like, that's <laughs> nothing unheard of. Are you sure you weren't uh, masturbated to her, Tony? Very funny. Just, it's not, It's no shame to admit if you did, it's Mila Jovovich, for Christ's sake. Mila Jovovich is hot, I'll admit that much, yeah. So, it's like, but what's the actress wrong played with as that? Jill, But the actress played as Jill is better looking in the second one, I'm sure. going to go much. Like, the outfit, sure. the, the outfit Jill wears, the char- Jill's character wears in the second one is, or, is the outfit she wears in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Now, all right, so we've gone, we've talked a little bit about the Resident Evil thing. Okay, nothing... Nothing here that we're hating. I mean, they're just for what they are. But, I mean, look at these critical scores going back a second, all right? So, and these are the critical scores for the movies. Like, Super Mario Brothers movies, 29%. Uh, the first Mortal Kombat movie, 45 Mortal Kombat Annihilation, 4%. Mm. All right? Both, both Tomb Raider movies are in the 20s. Resident Evil is 35%, the very first one. All right? Mm-hmm. And then, of course... It's a German sauerkraut by the name of Uwe Boll who decided to make these god-awful video game movies that are infamously known for being bad. We go with House of the Dead, Alone in the Dark, and Blood Rain. Like, hmm. oh my goodness, gentlemen. Like, I've, <laughs> did I've you see any of those uh, movies? Yes, I've seen House of the Dead, and it seems like it put tits first before House of the Dead. In fact, there's a the part where they're showing clips of the video game. That's how low budget it was. In fact, Blood Rain I didn't hear about, but the other two I never really heard the games that were based upon it. Blood Rain, I, Blood Rain seemed interesting because I'm a big fan of the other character Blood Rain. It's one of my favorite characters of all time. But the problem is that like it just it, it, it just made her into a mockery in that film and stuff like that. Well, I remember actually seeing the posters for it at the movie theaters, and you had the the chick who played the female Terminator in Terminator 3. You had Ben Kingsley, who's been in Schindler's List, so it looked like, oh, this might be an okay movie, but then you look at the scores of it, and it was just all, you know, just as universally panned as anything Uwe Boll would do. Especially, yeah, one of his worst films that I, I remember seeing, but I don't remember much of, was the Far Cry film he made. Never saw that either. You um, don't want to. There is a, now, Alone in, the, Alone in the Dark only gets a little recognition for because Night Wishes, Wish I Had an Angel had a music video tied with that. How did I know you were going to say that, Mr. Big Night Wish fan? Because I'm a metalhead, unlike you, pussy. Yep, pussy. Hey, I like I like Metallica because it's Reloaded. Yeah, album. you like, yeah, you say, yeah, your favorite album by them is Reloaded. You haven't listened to any of their good albums. I've heard their other songs, if that makes it No, you, you haven't. Reload, okay, but Reloaded's you better you than Saint heard, a, Reloaded's better than you, Saint Anger. You haven't heard Master of Puppets. You haven't heard Injustice for All. You haven't heard Ride the Lightning. Okay, listen to those albums, and then you tell me if Reload's still your favorite album. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, before we go on, okay, what about the fact that Uwe Boll basically told his critics to put up and shut up and actually beat them <clears> in <throat> boxing matches? You, I didn't even know about that is, until you mentioned it. Well, the, and then Greg, you told me that you thought when the nostalgia critic mentioned it, you thought it was a joke. No, it was real. It was a totally real event that happened in the year 2006. And then you actually watched some of the clips from it just a couple minutes ago. So, Greg, what are your thoughts on that? I'm actually impressed. Okay, so. You know, it gives me an idea if I ever, if I ever hear a critic saying that, oh... I love the movie Cuties. If, if uh, you don't like it, you're a hater. Guess how well that's going to turn out. The exactly. Thought, but... the, thought, the, the thought of him wanting to box his haters? Get Cinnamon Alvarez there and let's see him take take Uwe Boll down. All Canelo had to do is just say, you know, I don't like his movie in Spanish. But, uh, but the funny thing about this is, like, some of these critics legitimately thought that, oh, this event was a joke. It's just going to be for fun. We're not going to really hit each other. It's just going to be a publicity thing. But no, no, these these guys legitimately got the shit beat out of them by Bull. And, uh, you know, Surprise there was didn't go to jail for that. Well, they probably signed waivers or whatever. But yeah, imagine being told, imagine you don't like someone's movie and you're now you're told, okay, you don't like my movie? Fight me. Oh my, yeah, I'd be like, what the fuck's your problem? 
All right. And then what's funny is that is, you know, because of his because of Uwe Boll's, you know, movies not being well received, many people have just like petitioned that just please retire. Like, how the hell do you get financed if your movies don't make any money? How should I know? I'm not him. <laughs> Another one that I'm sh- I'm surprised you didn't see, Tony, Dead or Alive. How I would you know. not see a Dead or Alive movie? I don't know. I mean, because at the time I was starting to realize that video game adaptation and movies were terrible, were sucking, and I just didn't bother to see it for some odd reason. I like Dead or Alive, but why are you surprised I never saw it? I mean, did I ever tell you that? Because I was dead, you like Dead or Alive, and you've done reviews on Dead or Alive. You've talked about characters on Dead or Alive. So, like, it seemed like the kind of movie that you would want to see. Uh, well, when did that movie come out at Mount Des Moines? When did that 2000, come out? 2006. Oh, like, what, was it, like, late in 2006 or early 2006? September, so not so No, middle. I was, I was kind of getting fed up with video game movies. I just didn't bother to even see it. I stuck with the games. Okay. Um, now, before we move on, okay, there's another movie that I actually need to mention. And that was the Street Fighter animated movie. The, that one was a good one. The anime one? That was a good one. I will admit, I watched it in Japanese. It, that is good. That feels like Street Fighter. Now, I actually watched the American version, and the American version has the hard rock soundtrack. So that's where I learned about KMFDM. That's where you hear Alice in Chains. And that's, I, and can see, I can see where Tech in the Motion Picture, the American version, got that idea from. Exactly. Well, right. And then Tech in the Motion Picture, then I hear... I learn of the stabbing westward song in that one yeah like, corrosion, oh, yeah yeah that corrosion of conformity the offspring and stuff in there but i, I remember getting that thinking that taking on vhs and there was a white vhs tape and then i got the tv and watching japanese japanese version was better and uh, i'm i, I want to mention the, these films if you don't mind anthony because you know I, I'm, right. a huge, I'm a huge tekken fan it's my favorite brilliant franchise i have not seen the live action tekken i i refuse to nor it's Why? sequel you I have to see it at least once just to see how bad it is. I didn't feel like it. I skipped out on it because I, I, I just didn't want to see it. But I have seen Tekken the Motion Picture and Tekken Blood Vengeance. I'll talk about both these films right now. Tekken the Motion Picture, I, I like it in Japanese, but in the, the English version dub, not so much. And it's just that my, I, I thought Tekken Motion Picture was okay, but I have some problems with it. First off, characters like Beck, Ganru... And Paul, the King, Law, and them don't get any, any, barely get any screen time. Okay, Nina, because if, because if they did that, Tony, it would have been like Mortal Kombat Annihilation. But, like, but if they're trying to, if they're trying to tell a story, then you got to stick with a few. Well, they were all key characters from the first game, though, and you know that it, doesn't it, matter. But like, all, it just made focus on Kazuya, Mushima, Jun Kazama, Jack Two, Lei Wu Long. Because that's Mich- what the game story was. You, you have played Tekken, so I guess you know what I'm talking about. Just that one weird thing is that why did why did this movie have blood in it? Tekken was not known for blood. I mean, I, I, th- I thought I was watching Tekken, not Mortal Kombat meets Tekken or something like that. And the fact that there's dinosaurs in, the fact that Nina and, Anna and Anna's brawl against each other get ends when the the, di- the Velociraptor bites, eats and kills Anna Williams and... You know that you know the uh, the nude shower scenes in the Street Fighter animated movie, don't you, Anthony? Yes, of course. Tech in the motion picture did this, uh, copied. Yes, the same. they did. I had to point it out there. I'm I had to point put it out there. You say that you <clears throat> said Tekken did it better. No, Tekken did it d- did it the exact same way. There was no well, better. Okay. <laughs> so now but, I have to ask, why do you like the Japanese subs better than the English dub? I always do because anime was mainly made in Japan. When whenever you hear he he hear English English audio and stuff like that, it sounds sounds forced and phoned in. When the Japanese actors sound better and stuff like that, and that fair what, enough because in those days it they were kind of phoned in. It really wasn't until recent when Funimation <laughs> was able to do serious dubs of anime. So yeah. they, like when when Funimation did Dragon Ball Z Kai, the voice acting is so much better. Than the original run of Dragon Ball yeah. Z. The parts of the Tekken the Motion Picture are pretty sad, like like Jack well, 2. Well, we we don't need to go. We don't need to go whole I, I need to, to but but I'm but I'm done talking about that. But I want to talk about Tekken Blood Vengeance, which is actually better, better because like, I, I because because like it just felt more like Tekken. It's just because at the time when this game was released, the characters were already had spoken dialogue and stuff, and it actually really focused on Ling Xiaoyu and um. 
it, ha it had characters that I liked, like Nina and Anna Williams and stuff like that, and and I did not get get eaten up by the Velociraptor and that that. The way it was set up, the way the way how how the fights were at the end, the way how everyone when was talking, the towns, the way they dressed and everything, all felt like Tekken, unlike fair Tekken. It, okay, fair enough. All right. The only reason why I would have wanted, I actually checked out Tekken, the motion picture, the live action one, was just because I knew there was going to be a fight between Christy Montero and and Nina. And, that, you, you, and I just wanted to, and I wanted to see what they'd be wearing. Who do you like more, Christy Montero from Brazil or the Irish assassin Nina Williams? Uh, Appearance-wise, Christine, of course. Well, I don't know. I mean, I gotta, I gotta be. I, I've been, I was more a fan of the Williams sisters because going on topic here. For me, it went like this with the Williams sisters: one and two, Nina; three, Tag, Anna; five, uh, four, Nina, because Anna was in it; five, Anna, and then. I stopped caring for the Williams out of that. No, my favorite Tekken female Tekken character is Lily. Ooh, Emily De Rockford. Yeah, she's yeah. She, I, I like that. That's why I like. She's cool, but but if I like to said, but 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 if, but she didn't make an appearance until Tekken Dark Resurrection stuff like that. But, but whatever. But we got but we got to move on. All yes, right? let's let, let's do so, it. Yeah. All move right. On. So actually, I got to go to another one. It, I have to do one more. Okay, that's Street Fighter The Legend of Chun-Li, all right? I didn't hate it. I know a lot of people hated it um, because of, just for the acting and the story, but I'm thinking, oh, well, I like Chun-Li and I like the actresses that, and the actors that are in it. It's not as bad as people think it is, but yeah, it is a pretty bad movie. You know, oh, I, it's a, it, is a, it is a guilty pleasure movie, that one. And what else is said? Uh, Chun-Li is cute, though. Another reason why we all wanted to watch it in 2009 and the actress who played Chun Li was cute. No, I again a guilty pleasure on that one. So now we're going into the 2010s. Okay, so did you see Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time? Yes, I was not big into Prince of Persia at the time, so no. Well, what did you think of What did you think of that movie, Greg? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was good. Heh, <laughs> heh. <laughs> okay, well that seems like an okay. That's an okay synopsis, I guess. Well, I got nothing else to say. I, it's been a while since I saw the movie. No, and fun. that's okay because we're, there's a there's still more we can go over. Um, okay, and then did anybody see Need for Speed? Oh my Need God! For... After Need for Speed went to that Fast and Furious route, I stopped caring for that that series. Okay, did anybody see the Warcraft movie? Yep. Uh, I never cared for that either. So what'd you think of that one? Honestly, I thought it was good. Okay. Like what about it was good? Well, even though I never, I'm I'm not a Warcraft game, uh, gamer or something, but I just enjoyed the movie for what it was. That's a that's a fair thing to say. I remember my nephew J Map uh, was addicted to playing World of Warcraft for a long time, and then he realized how much time he was wasting, and then he just totally had to stop cold turkey. <laughs> Is that what kind of, was South Park made out made fun of? Oh yeah, and that was one of the best South Park episodes. Period. When they actually used the game engine to make those cutscenes. Okay, the Assassin's Creed movie. Did anybody see that one? Never cared for that series either. Uh, okay. Now, what about the 2018 Tomb Raider movie? Did anybody check that out? Nope. No, because after Angel of Darkness, I didn't. I stopped caring for Tomb Raider because I don't. I don't follow reboots or any of that or any of that stuff. Okay. And I realize, folks, we're, we're skipping out on the Pokemon movies, okay? Because, to me, they were not... I didn't Pokemon care one was shit more about anime. Pokemon. Pokemon was more anime. like stuff. Right, but they're still technically video game movies. I mean, what came first? Was it the anime or was it the video game? The video game, uh, actually, yeah. The Game Boy okay. game. Oh, it, yeah, did it? I don't remember. I think it depends where you live. Right. It, All right. I, I did saw Detective Pikachu in the, mo in the theaters. Okay, so what did you think of that one? Good. All right. I only saw well. I saw two Pokemon movies in theaters, and th and, th and thanks to YouTube users said that the Hyper Lamney, I'm gonna give her credit there. I saw some more Pokemon films when we watched them together on Discord. Yeah, I, I totally decided. I totally skipped out on all of that. Hey, stick around and let's watch Pokemon. Nah, I'm good. Oh yeah, right. I, I remember. I remember asking you, didn't I? Um. So how about the movie Rampage that has our boy The Rock in it? How can you, that's a dumb idea for a movie? How can you make an make a movie about three creatures destroying the world? Well, uh, it, it's it's I guess they're just trying to scrape down ugh. the bottle of the barrel. If that's, 
you need a you need a game with a, a plot as thin as that with it's literally just one screen and that's a movie and i was gonna say this that uh when i first heard about it were the monsters humans before before they got turned into monsters uh, i don't know i couldn't tell you all i know is that like there were experiments for scum labs for, for, for scum labs industry no that i never saw it um I, all I know is that I usually liked playing as Lizzie when I played the arcade game. Same here. Look, I liked so playing as Lizzie because she was the female character. Yeah, oh, we did a whole pod. We did a whole podcast about that, which I probably should re-edit and re-upload for this channel. We should re- we should do that. Yeah, that'll be fun. Re-edit it and actually redo the whole thing. So that you want to redo better. the whole thing? Make it even better. If, if sure, okay. Um, uh, how about Dead Trigger? Did anybody see that? Never heard Never. of it. Then and then nobody saw it. Right. Um, no okay. Saw. The 2021 Mortal Kombat movie. Did anybody see that? Yes. I. I don't. I. I did nope. too, and I, I nope. loved it. I it didn't was because. Great. I did not go see it because, in my opinion, all movies from 2000 and up are garbage. So I don't go to theaters anymore. So I figured up automatic dislike. Tony, grow up. Ha ha ha. All right. Tony. I loved this. I loved the reboot. I enjoyed the heck out of it for for think... this 2021 Mortal Kombat movie. Did you have the same idea, Greg? Yep. No, I thought uh, Kano had really good one-liners. I like they they changed the villain to Sub Zero. I love that it was a guy from the Last Samurai playing Scorpion. Um, the people who played Sco- Sonya and Liu Kang they were great. Like it was, it was a much more it was a much better well-made movie than the than the other Mortal Kombat movies. So yes, Tony, you should see that one, or you should just check it out. And it also has a great remix at the very end of the movie of the the original Mortal Kombat thing. Oh, like the one for do 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 do. Yeah, do, they do. did a remix. They did a total remix of it. It's fantastic. Interesting. Yeah. Wait. So, uh, yeah, Tony, you Tony, just fucking see new shit. Okay. There, there is a, I don't there care is a movie, if it's made out. There is a movie. But, we, I, there's one I left out that I forgot about. What's which one is it? Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within, and Final Fantasy VII to Chris Seven, um, Evan Children. Okay, but so what did you think of Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within? Well, before I ask, did you guys see that, see those? I watched nope. a bit of it. I never saw it all the way through. Well, Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within, I liked, I liked the graphics in it and stuff like that, but I didn't really feel like Final Fantasy for me. It, even even my, my buddy John, JJ Jaguar, and I call him, who was a big Final Fantasy fan, even he thought the movie was garbage and stuff like that. And um, it didn't feel like Final Fantasy at all. I mean, except for things blowing up and stuff. Final Fantasy 7 and Children. Didn't, it didn't seem like that interesting of a movie to me. Okay, now you're, now this other one that you're talking about, was it an actual movie? It was a, it was, it was a direct-to-disc release. And now, okay, fuck that. Um, I know I'm skipping ahead, but I just let's, add, let's just list a couple more, all right, before we get to the next two, all right? Werewolves Within. Did anybody see that? Never heard of it. Again, it never grossed heard. less than a million dollars. So, but it, it has an eighty-six percent critical score, but it grossed nine hundred and thirty-seven thousand dollars. So, yeah, critics really know what they're talking about. Sure, um, they do. Um, Uncharted. Did anybody see that? Nope. Nope. My parents okay. have. They liked it. All right. So now let's go to the Sonic the Hedgehog movies. All right. Yes. I, I loved both of them. They were great. They were. Jim Carrey is a great Dr. Eggman or Robotnik, whichever one you want to do. I thought they were well made. Um, I actually loved that uh, when they when they came out and the, the original render of Sonic came out and everybody was super pissed because of how it looked. They said, yeah. no, you need to change it. And they totally did. And it, it had actually saved the film. Yep. Uh, but no, any, anytime Jim Carrey was in there, he steals every scene he's in. Um, and then the second movie come out and you have Knuckles, you have Idris Elba playing Knuckles and it has our boy Tails in there. Like it, they're great movies. They're, they're good family fun. You, again, they're, you don't, it's like the Super Mario movies, Mario movies. Don't expect them to be deep cuts or whatever, but they're great to see even as an adult. And I can't wait for Sonic three. And, uh, also if I can even point this out, uh, well, before the first song, the Hedgehog movie was released in theaters, I did kind of hear it was getting attacked by uh, the people that were trying to defend uh, Birds of Prey during the time. They were. They, it was attacked by people defending Birds of Prey? Yep. Why would that happen? I think it's because uh, Birds of Prey was not doing a good job at the theaters and Sonic was just being in it. Hmm. 
Well, the thing about the Birds of Prey movie is they people didn't really get what it was supposed to be. People were trying to say that, uh, oh, this uh, Son of the Hedgehog is homophobic and uh, racist. What? Yep. What really? the fuck? They didn't even see the movie before it came out. Well, they're missing out because Sonic the Hedgehog was great. I mm. mean, it it was a good nostalgia, brought some good memories of playing the games. And Tony, you are you should be ashamed of yourself for not seeing it. Uh, I guess because uh, he wants to masturbate to Margot Robbie. You gotta come on. You, you gotta pick something else, <laughs> Greg. Like Margot Robbie's not not a bad target there. Madonna, eighties Madonna, uh, sure, but Madonna today, ugh. <laughs> the hell kind of plastic surgery was that i have no idea so now i'm going to look at the list of these upcoming movies all right some of them actually do have release dates so five nights at freddy's why the fuck does that have a movie coming up i don't know i, don't know. I, I know nothing about the franchise same here well except for the i, uh, can't, I saw i saw let's plays of five nights at freddy's or people pretending to be characters and i'm, I'm like that has a po- that has a following People are well, fans of that game, and uh, I, I, well, I just don't get it. And well, I was gonna say that I think I heard the creator of the game was being attacked because <clears throat> he voted differently. Of course, what what else is new? Um, well, they, also, cool. they also attacked his wife, who was pregnant during the time. Fucking people, man! Tell me about it. Right. Yeah. So there will be a Sonic the Hedgehog three. So you have until December twentieth, two thousand twenty four, to catch up, Tony. All right. And um, I did hear I did hear they're planning to, to break that movie into two parts. Weird. Uh, nah, they don't need to do that. But well, whatever. But or maybe they'll do Sonic engaging in bestiality with a female princess. E. They kind of did have a princess of police in Sonic Six. That's what I was referencing. Oh. So I see that there is a Minecraft movie about coming up in a couple years. Like, okay, whatever. There's a Borderlands movie that has yet to be released, but it's been announced. <clears throat> Untitled Crossfire film. Like, there's a movie based on a board game. Hmm. Oh, oh, tactical talking... first, tactical first person shooter, whatever. Crossfire. Uh, X. Whatever. So an Untitled Duke Nukem film has been talked about. Jack and Daxter might have a movie, I guess. Hmm. I guess oh. there might be a. I guess there might be a sequel to the 2021 Mortal Kombat. Well, untitled, oh. untitled Pac-Man. <coughs> really? How's that gonna work? Yeah. Um, maybe in the same way they do the Mario movie, just animated CGI, and they just, you know, put Pac-Man in a world. I never saw that one. Un- I untitled Just Dance. So I guess. The, I guess Dance Dance Revolution gets its own film. They were supposed to make a, make a Guitar Hero movie back in 2008, 2009. They were supposed to talk about that, but that never came through. But you don't need to make a Guitar Hero movie. Just do a movie about Metallica. There's your Guitar Hero, There's your guitar hero movie. Well, back in 2001, 2000, 2001, there, you, you, they were supposed to make a movie on the arcade game called Crazy Taxi. And, uh, <laughs> and well, I, well, there was one video game movie I'd I was kind of looking forward to, but I think it got canceled. It was supposed to be a movie called Dragon's Lair. Oh, Dragon's Lair. Yeah, I know about that. Yeah, and, uh, well, Don Bluth was supposed to be the, the director of it. Hmm. But, so... Uh, well, that would be, be fun. Uh, but now let's see. Untitled Metal Gear Solid film. Good God. Please do not do a Metal Gear Solid film. Unless it's treated with the same respect that... You know, they did the Mario one, but Metal Gear Solid is way... <laughs> there's way too much to fill all of that in a two-hour movie. I mean, if they did it based on the first, on Metal Gear Solid 1, like, I can see possibly, as long as it's not Uwe Boll, okay? If it's Uwe Boll who does it, then fuck it. Forget it. But, yeah. like, a, there was supposed to be a movie based on Spy Hunter, but that never came through either. Right. And uh, uh, let's see, untitled Portal film, all right? Oh, God. Untitled, okay, Return to Silent Hill. Um, Silent Hill movie sucked anyway. Untitled Streets of Rage film. Fuck yeah, make a Streets of Rage film, dude. You already did Sonic. Streets of Rage is right up there with Sonic in terms of popular Sega games. So yeah, I would totally be all over Streets of Rage. And, uh, well, I think Tony would be perfect for the part since uh, he gets angry all the time. <laughs> he can be Mr. X. I never seen Streets of Rage. I know nothing about it. <laughs> That's all right. 
Yeah, they're pretty much already saying that there's going to be a Super Mario Brother movies too. There probably might be a Donkey Kong movie. Oh yeah, that's right. There was an Angry Birds movie. Like, did anybody see that? No. Nope. Yeah. I, don't, I never played Angry one. Birds in my life. Uh, I saw the first one. Yeah. 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 How the hell can you make a movie on that one? And, that, and I'm going into the animated category, I guess. So. I guess the I guess Pokemon counts, Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within counts. We already talked about that. Good God, how many Pokemon movies are there? T- like I'm minutes. just I'm going I'm going through all the lists and they're just ugh. Like I, I have no problem with people who enjoy it, but man, uh, that's a lot. About, that's a lot of movies. About twenty. Okay, well if you enjoy it, great. <laughs> I'll just stick to Street Fighter Two, the animated movie. All right, so that's been fun going through our our memory lane of just going through our video game movies, what we think of them. You know, obviously with the Super Mario Brothers movie that came out this year, I think video game movies have a renewed future. With you know, they're they're t- they're treating them with better respect. I think they're figuring out what the fans like versus what the fans don't like. You know, they don't necessarily have to be what the critics like because after all, critics like cuties of all fucking movies. Gentlemen, any closing thoughts about video game movies that you want to bring up before we close? I have nope. nothing. All right. Well, thank you so much. So if you would like to talk to us directly, if there is a video game movie that we didn't mention or that we didn't talk about enough, please talk about that in the comment section. All right. If you would like to talk to any of us directly, there is a link to the Burgers and Fries Discord server below. Tony, what is happening in your video game reviews? Well, as well, currently I'm still working on the Army Man, the Army P Men Men franchise here, so. All right, and I will continue to try to do rants, but you gotta, if I'm not inspired enough, then please bring up a topic. Sometimes something tragic inspires me enough, sometimes I gotta, it's a video that takes a long process. I will do the Nickelodeon, uh, do the Nickelodeon uh, live action shows pretty soon, but that means I gotta go back and watch a lot of shit. So, (laughs) gentlemen, so. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Desert Coat 22. Thanks for listening. And I'm TT Barry Hales, Tony. Peace out. And I'm Gregory Timberwolf. Signing out.